crying again you didn't even know betty white you need to move on now. it was too soon she was 99 years old so young meanwhile your tween daughter has been on the other side of the world unaccompanied for three months now and you haven't cried about that once why in the hell would i cry about that okay it kind of sounds like maybe you hypothetically could be projecting your sadness about missing stacy with this whole betty white thing okay well it kind of sounds like maybe you're projecting your whole patheticness and making me sad because you're a loser. Wonderful. Are you over it now then? Yes, I think I've cried all I can about Betty White. I will not cry about her anymore. Okay, good. So Chelsea, have you started working on your science project? <laughs> oh, America, sweetheart. Hello. Well, I'm not getting you another wine if you water down your Sauvignon Blanc with your tears again. You've done that to a whole case of wine this week. Are you because it reminds you of your upcoming death that no one will care about. Kelsey, don't say that. Of course people will care that Barbie dies, but not like in a sad way, like how on The Wizard of Oz when the evil witch dies and the whole town sings a song about how happy they are that she's dead. It'll be like that. We're all gonna die someday, Barbie. Does that make you feel better? We're all gonna be dead, just rotting in the ground, so stop crying and drink your lunch. You are all garbage. None of you will ever amount to the prestige that was Betty White, and none of us will ever enjoy the Golden Girls reunion that we all so desperately wanted and deserved. How were they gonna have a reunion when the other three were already dead? Dead, just like we'll be. In the ground, six feet under, with no living soul remembering who we are. Better? Okay, sweetie, eat your lunch. No, none of you are being helpful. I'll be helpful. Remake. Remake? Yeah, remake. That's the biz. They take all the things and they remake them, redo, revive it, sell it like it's new. There's no new ideas. They just make the old shit new again. So you can stop your crying and look forward to them remaking that shit with HD cameras and retina display TVs. A remake, of course. It was a great show. It won lots of awards. Someone will totally remake it. That's the spirit. I'm gonna remake it. No, please don't. Yes, I am going to remake the Golden Girls. Chelsea, this is your fault. I just wanted her to stop crying. She left the room, so that's one better. You're welcome. Hello, everyone. Do you remember when I told you I was going to remake the Golden Girls? Do we remember four hours ago? Yeah. I've done it. I've written the whole first season. It's 22 episodes. How? I'm high on cocaine. I had a shit ton of Red Bull. I think I wrote the word hummingbird 800 times. Anywho, the first episode features our four Golden Girls moving into a tasteful mansion in sunny California at a poignant point in all of their lives. Original. Is it because their husbands died? Somebody died, didn't they? What's with you and death right now? I accidentally listened to a true crime podcast and I haven't slept in six days. Somebody hold me. So, the four women have moved in together and because of their differing personalities, shenanigans will ensue. Okay, which actors are gonna play your four women? No actors, they're sh No one is better than me, so I refuse to use actors. No actors, okay, who's directing? The only director I can stand is Lisa Felicia, and she isn't speaking to me because I ate her prize-winning begonias. Those are flowers. Yes, they are, and they tasted like sh Okay, no director. Film crew? The crew union said no. Too many times my films turn into porn and then they all end up with herpes. My herpes is airborne. I'm in some medical studies about it. Okay, to summarize, you're gonna make a television show with no actors, no director, and no crew. Yes, that is correct. I'm Barbie and if I can dream it, I can do it or some such Best of luck to you. Sounds great. I know it's your sarcasm. It's not gonna be that hard. I just gotta find some older women who are not actors who might be willing to do me a favor for no money. Barbara, sorry to barge in on your peasant house. I was down the road and realized I had run out of cocktail olives. Do you have a few to tide me over until I reach the Hollywood Hills? I would be ever so grateful. I would even be willing to return a favor to you if you could do me this kindness. Huh. 
That was very fortunate. What was? Yeah, sure. Cocktail olives in the kitchen. Then we can discuss that favor. Thank you, Worthless. Great. Now all I need are three more older women who might be willing to play the other characters. So I'm gonna need a slutty one. Have you seen Margaret? She came in to get cocktail olives, and I know a party trick using cocktail olives, a bowl placed across the room, and an intimate body orifice. I saw a man outside, and I would like to show this to him. Where is Margaret? Great! And I will need a funny-looking straight talker. Where the hell are the alcoholics? This room looks like a unicorn, and Andy Warhol threw up everywhere and had their period on the lamps. Not very inviting. Barbara, your face has aged, so have your breasts. Try to sleep more, Margaret! And a dumb one. Hello, it's Aunt Marlene from the Swiss Alpine Riding Academy, and the door isn't opening. Ah, I was pulling, and it is a push. A baby blue room. Is it a child's room? Lovely portraits. Any of horses? Sweet! And we need a young boy, cute, carrying snacks. Got a trust fund. No? Okay, well, it was worth a shot. So you got the cocktail olives, you're happy, and your martinis are super dry, and you're gonna do this for me. If I'm drunk enough, I can get through anything. I raised you, didn't I? And if you'll recall, I did a rather good job. Actually, I'm the product of trauma and the many governesses dad kept sleeping with, but thanks, not the point. And what genre of movie will this be? Film noir? Is it a play for an elite group of aristocrats? If so, I need at least three hours to do my kegels before the after party. No, this isn't a movie or a play. It's a remake of an old television show. More diction, Barbara. You're a terrible speaker. No one can understand you. I think you said television. Yes, I said television. You said what? Television. Ah, I make my morning daiquiri in one. No, that's a blender. We're making a film noir in a blender? Okay, you know the giant screen that you all have in your sitting rooms? Yes, the big black sitting room box. Everyone has one. It's a status symbol. The bigger the better. I once knew a man named Olowatobi, and he was big, if not the biggest man I have ever known intimately. And I would be lying if I didn't say he proves that point nicely. Well, if you turn the big screen in your sitting room on, it shows you moving pictures. Oh, I don't trust witchcraft. Sure. These are the scripts for the television show. We have to read? I say no. Oh, look at the time I have to be anywhere else right now. This word is horrid. You've misused commas all over the place. Do you know what will improve this? If we put it in the trash and travel to St. Bart's on my yacht. Yes, to another room? Help now. me, you aging assholes, or give me my cocktail olives back. I thought they were a gift. How dare you barter with family for essential goods? We're leaving. Look, just stay for five minutes. Nine. And help yourself to my bar. Oh, 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 yeah. Regret not hiring actors now? It's okay. I have a backup plan. I mean, who can blame her? I wish Carol Baskin killed my husband. It was stupid to think these guys could act under instruction. These bitches are all improv. I'm gonna get my content. They're just not gonna know they're giving it to me. How are you gonna do that? Hidden cameras. Where are you gonna hide them? Oh, they're already there. And there, and there. What? Yeah, they're Barbie surprise porn cameras. What surprise porn? It's Pretty self-explanatory, Skipper. It's surprise porn. So we just provoke them into the storylines I've already planned, and I captured their organic reactions. It's a sitcom win. Okay, I'm here for this. Okay, storyline of the first episode is they just moved into this place, and they all have very different ideas on how to decorate. That sounds really boring. You sound really boring! I got this. Hey, ladies! I was just chatting with Barbie, and she wants to redecorate this room, and she wants to know your idea. Ideas. Okay, Ram, go. Wait for the goal. Radak, all right? To be brutally honest, I think you would be better off just burning this whole thing to the ground. While I agree with you, Lillian, I think the most obvious note for redecoration is, why is this room not a grand foyer? Why is this what people are forced to see when they first walk in the entryway? Yes, it does not make for any mystery. I have a friend who makes her bows walk through several hallways to the main parlor as a way of sexual anticipation. The friend is me, I am the 
friend. No, no, it can't be a grand foyer. It has no large staircase or marble statue. Say, I have the most beautiful horse stabled in Palo Alto, and we could cover it in marble and put it in this room. Marlene, is that how you think horse statues are made? Of course. How else are they shaped properly? We could try a tasteful hunting trophy. The Viscount of Falkland loved displaying his taxidermy trophies. He was big on hunting, but he was such a gentle lover, such a confidant, and the legs on this man in a kilt would make any woman weak at the knees. Millicent, if you could shut your mouth along with your legs for one minute, you could contribute to this conversation by way of actual ideas for decorations and not innocuous anecdotes about your Filthy lifestyle. As usual, Lillian is the only other person in this room making any sense. I am making sense, thank you. Very much. I am speaking perfectly clearly, like my voice coach taught me. Another erroneous comment in the company of fools. You've got to have real gumption to stick it out with this crowd, see? I know this all too well, Lillian. For being relations of mine, there isn't much to be said about the gin pool. You're both just jealous and your charisma socially is suffocating and you're both about as charming as rocks. Tell me, Millicent, where is your daughter Kristen? With a name like that and a mother like you, no wonder you only see her when the checkbook comes out. How dare you? You know I don't like speaking of her. Because the pain of being old enough to have a child is a reminder that you should stop acting like one. At least my daughter is not as narcissistic as yours. This room screams I love myself and I do not need my mommy to love me. You can go to hell and back again for all I care. When I do, I'll tell Satan you send your regards. Your heart is as black as caviar. Caviar can also be red, you fool. Everyone you know will be ashamed to associate with you after learning of your stupidity. Millicent, stop pretending you are better than Margaret. You have less between your ears than you have men between your legs. True, but that means I still have a lot between my ears. And I knew about the caviar because my friend with benefits, Zhu Jiwan, covered me in a caviar rainbow for his birthday last year. Our stables have lovely timber features. We could get something similar for the stairs. Timber? You are such a card to make a staircase in timber. No, this is no horse house or whore house. Staircases are marble and wrought iron for the railings. We should have some artwork. These hideous portraits have to go. She does not get her sense of style from me. Apple very far from the tree on that one. I am rather attached to paintings of majestic horses. Thank you for that unwanted opinion. Your obsession with horses is a bit unsettling. Cut. Cut what? There is no cheese plate. Any good hostess would have at least put out a small charcuterie board. That was so great. See you guys later. Just get out of my house now. My head hurts from your transatlantic Lauren Bacall voices and I can't look at you anymore. Get out. Yes, please do go back to looking at the many portraits of your lovers around this room. Thank you for having us, Barbara. It has not been a pleasure. It's a pull. Why did you make them leave? I thought you wanted to film a series. Oh my god, I didn't think this through. I would have to sit through hours of them talking. Oh, you're gonna give up then? No, I just can't afford to have them here for longer. They were here for only an hour and they drank seven decanters of the good whiskey and gin. They were gonna drink me out of house and home. No, I think I got plenty of footage from their entire visit. It'll be fine, I got this. Welcome! everyone yay to the premiere of the pilot episode of golden girls the remake a barbara millicent roberts production by barbara millicent roberts that's a good title that you did in two hours shut up and please hold your applause and adulation until the end enjoy thank you for being a friend travel down the road and back again your heart is true. You're a Palo and a confidant. And if you threw a party, very inviting. Everyone you knew, you would see. The biggest gift would be from me. And the card attached would say thank you for being a friend.
very good and I try to blindly support everything that you do, but that was it. That's it. I'm rubbing my butt on everyone's pillows. You're all gonna get pink eye. It was good. It was great. You guys are all tasteless. Has she always had a private theater? Why don't we use this room more? Thanks for watching! Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and follow us on social media, links below. And check out our merchandise, links below as well. Love Sam! And Mickey!